What up, YouTube? SGK23 TV, the network. We're back in the building, back in the spot. I got my beautiful chick. Hey, you guys know the lyrics, right? As always, before I get started, uh, peace and blessings to everybody that's tuned in. Wish you guys nothing but the best. I'm sure you guys see the thumbnail or the description. So it's going to be a pretty descriptive video. I'm going to touch on clarity, color, cut, carrot weight, quality over quantity, or more expensive versus half the price, and just a lot of rhodium around the yellow gold slash the diamonds, like jewelry unlimited, five, six hundred Jesus pieces, eBay type joints, things of that nature. And I'm going to plug you down here with my, with my man P. Um, from tracks, uh, I've been dealing with them in the district for a long, 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 long time like 15, 16 years, you know. And uh, he'll hook you guys up, he'll take care of you, uh, for sure. He's a, a stand up dude, he, does, he doesn't work on like let me hit everybody hard on you know, profit commission, just let me work on volume and hit everybody light. And make more money by selling more than making more money by hitting hard by selling less. If that makes sense. Pause. Let's get right to it. All right. So uh, I wanted to get a Jesus piece for the Jacoji chain, right? Uh, that was the whole point. So you guys can kind of have an idea how to put a set for about, you know, $2,000 or so. And and have about an ounce, over an ounce, solid 14 karat gold. Have at least one karat of VS diamonds. And so on and so on. And everything is A1 with Jokoji. We're not tripping. Um, you know, it, it, it's scratched. It's a point, two point, three points, less. No big deal. It is what it is. Unboxing, of course. You guys love it. But I had to get it out the way real quick. You know, uh, inside uh, two different ones. Stick around if you guys want to uh, learn about molded than casted versus not casting, CAD, pre-drilled molds versus non-pre-drilled jewelry. I got gemstones. I got uh, Burma rubies uh, for the next video. So you guys can understand uh, the best of the best versus more affordable. So here I'll show you like an appraisal real quick before we get to the Jesus piece. Again, appraisal is bound by law. So you guys can kind of see. Retail 380. And then the appraisal. Okay, well, we'll leave that for next time. We'll leave that for next time because I'm already taking too long. So, bomb, bomb. Um, you know, the felt jump off. Put this over here. Little pouch. Let me put this over here. You know, your little uh, track sticker. Your little warranty. My man hooked me up. Six months extra. And you know me. I like to get to it. Like I said. So here's the piece. Let me get the llama out the way. Here's the piece. Pretty much your OG. You know. Jesus. Jump off, but with the Cuban crown on this joint and the lock and load uh, bell prong set diamonds solid 14 karat gold VS not VS1 not VS2 not SI1 just VS G in color one full carat mirror finish face the original not that human looking Jesus face you feel me We'll get to the clarity and up close and all that here in a minute and stick around for some secrets and 
some giveaway stuff as well. So I wanted the original as far as the face, not the, the, the human, you know, that original. I mean, and diamonds everywhere. Just don't ice out, you know, ice out everything. Well, we're doing this one with a Cuban crown iced out for an iced out Cuban. Ice out the eyes, the beard, the hair, the rest, mirror finish, please. The eyes as well. Original. Like Jay-Z. I want to see Tito in the district. Hit me with some VS's, something I could live with. He didn't say VVS's. He said some VS's, something I can live with. You feel me? Like clean joints. So clarity, color, cut, carrot, weight. You always want to up your uh, your color versus your clarity, per se. Okay? Why is that? Unless your clarity is not on point. If your clarity is not on point, then you got to up both. Meaning, if you got some clean SIs, and the color is I J H I. You need to bump that up. Don't not the clarity to V S two, S I one V S two, which all that means it's in the middle, meaning it's just V S's. Doesn't mean you have S I S and V S diamonds mixed. Or when I do my stuff, that's not what I do. You feel me? The lock and load uh, bell. I'll show you why I wanted to do this one with a lock and load bell. It's a fourteen fifteen hundred dollar piece right here. You can go to Jewelry Unlimited. You can go to like So I See them type of places and get something maybe with uh, two carats. You know, with low low gray diamonds, full of rhodium around the diamonds so they look white. No no no. White diamonds set on yellow gold. If it's yellow gold, set the diamonds on yellow gold. Feel me? Gallery back. Diamonds do not need to breed. 14 carat stamp. Hold on. These are 14 carat stamp. 9 grams. I got a little over. So, Jacoji chain, 15 grams for 900 bucks. I got 9 grams with v, 1 carat of VS Diamonds of the blue label jump offs. And this is the $1,400 jump off. And this is what I wanted to do to Jacoji Chain and find something like this so you guys can put something together that's like 2000 bucks and it's heavyweight, great quality, meaning everything is 14 karat gold, plum, you got VS diamonds, you know what I'm saying, so on and so on. Now let's get to like the measuring, the testing, and things of that nature. Let me set this. So the bail, what I mean about the bail, lock and load. So this bell doesn't, uh, it's not in, it doesn't stay in place per se, and it doesn't move. It locks and loads wherever you want it. So for this chain, you want to move it a little forward, like around here. So your flat Cuban curb lays flat, and it looks right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep it straight. You know, there you can see the side profile, the back profile. We're going to get up close, but it's an inch and a half, including the whole jump up. Hold on. Let me give you guys diamond shots. The nicest diamonds I like about this are the prong set ones on the bail. And I'm going to hit the fastest for you guys on purpose so you guys can see if there are any scratches slash inclusions to the naked eye. Hold on. Let me grab it. Uh, 
It might not be as easy as I thought. It's because they're here, and that's all. I'm not going to waste, waste too much time. We're going to get to getting to what we need to get to. Ten minutes. Time flies. Uh, the ruler. I try to set everything up. Everything I do is unscripted, guys. So, you know, it ain't... Because uh, I have things that, that I want to talk about. Educate. So, we'll just go from eight... Eight inches, bomb. Inch and a half, including the bell. So nice size, nine grams, so on and so on, right? Right here. You see the facets? I'm trying to get the facets to stay in place for one second if I can. This is what VS looks like. Now, let me tell you what can happen you can have a SI2 with F color FG color see see the facets right there you don't see any scratches on 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 the diamond that I'm kind of hitting white right up under the eye and that's with the naked eye so you get you a SI1 Right, SI2, GH in color, put it next to this VS, put it next to a VVS2, HI in color, me to you talking in person, this and that other one are going to look the same as far as the diamonds to the naked eye, as far as the brilliance and how they hit and stuff like that. Now, if you give it to me with a loop in 10 minutes, I'll tell you, of course. If you're doing this type of stuff, of course, you know, you're going to get up close and personal with your diamonds. You feel me? Hold on, because this focus is real close. I love that bell. Them prongs said. Joints on the bale are just bananas. Good enough for you guys? Alright, let's do it. <laughs> what I hate to do, but there's no way to trick this. Uh, I don't need to do this to this piece. Uh, not just because of the reputation of my mans, but... With me, with the naked eye, I know what type of diamonds these are, you know, and so on and so on. I can tell their diamonds are not moist tonight, but uh, let me, uh, let, let me do it. Since this is what everybody likes and this is a selector, so. If it hits, uh, whatchamacallit. Metal, uh, you guys know what to do. Hit the eyes. You guys can't see this. Hold on. Let me try and play games here. Um, here. It's here up here. Let's hit the bell on these beautiful stones on the bell. If I can stay in place.
See the crown. If I can find one or see one. Let's get one of these right in here. Maybe they tricked us in here, huh? All right, we're Gucci. We know these are diamonds. I didn't need this crap to do that. And here it is. Uh, this is not your biggest joint, meaning this is not your 7,000, your 12, your 14,000. This is your 14, 1500. At a physical location, uh, meaning not website order, Meaning not e-commerce. Um, you're looking at nineteen to twenty five hundred dollars instead of fourteen fifteen hundred. Hit my man, so he'll hook you up. Especially Black Friday right now, popping. And now that because of when I switch how close and far the camera hits, now we have no camera light. This is just a professional light from my studio and a light over here to the left over my computer. I really like, again, the setting. Because there's no trickery. It's yellow gold and the diamonds on set are set on yellow gold. Not full of rhodium around it with little diamonds. Very dull, horrible clarity. I'm sorry, like Jewelry Unlimited. You know what I'm saying? To make it look something that it's not. And nothing hits anyways. And I see a lot of liars on YouTube. A lot of people that are misinformed and regurgitating misinformation and other people are saying the same stuff and it's incorrect. You're talking right now to a certified jeweler. School, everything since 2003. You feel me? So, clean that size with a good color or VVS to the naked eye. That's a wrap. It's done and that's what it is. You feel me? Done deal. We got 15 grams and nine grams. That's what, 22 or something? Solid 14 karat gold. A carat of VS diamonds. I say that's a beautiful look. You feel me? Probably put a different chain. I don't know. I got a Franco. I got a lot of stuff coming for, me, uh, for you guys. I got all these parcels right here. Like I showed you guys. The Burma Rubies. I got alternatives to diamonds for people that don't want to spend that much. Like this. These are aquamarine Brazilian with this clarity. So the bezel, instead of him paying $7,000, he's going to pay about $1,800 with these. Feel me? Check out this joint. Since we were talking last time about VVS and moissanites and diamonds... Look at this. VVS. Jump off. F in color. D. D F or D. I forget. But this, that jump off. Pretty much like what we're looking at the Jesus piece. Except each one of these can be made into an engagement ring. For 5000 a piece. You take this off, and we can get out of here, I believe. So, get an idea of what it looks like on the Jokoji. That was the plan, to give you guys something of quality from top to bottom. Solid 14 karat gold, everything. VS Diamond Pendant. Nice, medium type of size. With a special bail. You know what I mean? The correct setting, done the right way. Or around 2K or something like that. That's why I did this. But the Jacoji chain really didn't work out too well for me. But this thing right here, if I do say so myself, is pretty spectacular. As far as the quality, 
At a thousand dollars, would this be lovely? Yes, of course. But we are. This is DNF Diamond Jewelry reviews jewelry. So we're talking retail, at retail from a consumer perspective, not a jeweler's perspective, not somebody that knows how much it costs me to make this, not somebody that knows how much it costs to buy a thousand, ten thousand of these in wholesale if they were made in wholesale, so on and so on. You feel me? At 1400 I'd rather have this than the $600 10 carat gold with two carats with horrible diamonds full of rhodium, so on and so on. I give this a 10 out of 10 for, for the price, for the setting, the quality, the weight, etc., etc., etc. I think maybe in white gold... This might even look harder. But I'm not a big white gold guy because then it's like, I might as well just rock silver and put diamonds on them. But it is what it is. You feel me? And silver, this might be just like all white, just bling, bling, bling. You feel me? And we're in a studio right now. So if I would have did this like in, a, in the bathroom of my house and all that, it's a different type of pop. You feel me? Different type of shine, different type of pop, different type of, you know, them things dancing, but, you know, them, them things dancing. We can't complain about this at all. So this bell, for this chain, I would move it forward about here. So this, so the chain lays flat. That's why I like request these done this way. Feel me? Bomb. Pretty nice. And I appreciate you guys. But hope you guys appreciate me bringing uh, all this jewelry to the East Coast. You know, having all this stuff shipped and changed. Here's my cube. And this is what I was thinking about putting on it. But it needs to be cleaned and replated, really, to be honest with you. But it's 18 karat. So I don't know. Hope you guys appreciate me. Having all this stuff shipped to the East Coast to do these reviews for you guys. And then, just like I just did, have everything shipped back to the West Coast, to the factory, to my factory, you know, with insurance. Which costs a lot of money. I just spent $300, $400 in shipping back some of the stuff I had in the last videos as far as chain comparisons and things like that. That's $400. I could have bought something to review for you guys. And don't get it twisted. Don't think I'm just spending money and buying things, you know, uh, just for me and stuff like that. You feel me? This is, some things will I'll keep, some things will be sold, some things will be given away. I got a giveaway coming up. If you made it this far, put 313 in the comment section. If you made it this far, put 313 in the comment section. If you put 313 in the comment section, it means you made it this far. If you made it this far, and I see the 313, you have entered the giveaway, which we're about 70 subscribers away. And stay tuned to see what the giveaway is. Because junk out here, we don't give away. Side profile, back profile. I mean, I give it to you guys the best way I can. Pause. All angles measured. I hit it with the diamond tester. No need. Made it this far. Put 313 in the comment section. And you already entered the giveaway. And you guys will see what the giveaway is here in a minute. Next video, we're going to talk about this. Handmade, molded and casted, CAD, so on and so on. Oh, yeah, appraisal. Uh, I don't want to get too crazy, but it's uh, 2500 2500 for the medium joint. Again, 313 enters the giveaway. And this is on the Jacoji chain. The flat four millimeter quote unquote curve. And that's how it would look. 
Now, this is a little more ladyish vase right here. So, you know, it's not, it'll be a little different for a man. Inside of the bell, smooth. Again, I can't complain. As far as retail, I know. I sell you these for thirteen fifty, fourteen karat gold. Stay up, peace and blessings. Again, three one three. If you made it this far, everybody stay up, peace and blessings. Check it out. One last shot. We don't want no thorns on Jesus. We want Jesus iced out with the Cuban. We want love. That's why I don't like. Uh, crucifix with Jesus on the cross because the cross is the tool that was used to kill Allah slash the Most High slash Jesus. If he was killed with a gun, I wouldn't want you know Jesus' body strapped up to a gun. Now I'll wear a cross, I'll wear a Jesus peace face like this. But I'm not putting Jesus, Allah, our way on the tool that they used to kill him, slash the cross. No. And I'm not putting thorns on him. I mean, you know, that that's a little subjective and a little too far. But my Jesus is iced out with a Cuban link. Having a good time. Peace and blessings. 313 in the comment section.